What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel and a very happy new year to everyone. Um, this video is going to be a little different than normal. Today we're going to be talking about my favorite decks from 2020 because it was the new year. It got me thinking like which decks did I really like? Which ones stood out to me? So I made a list and I pulled them out. I'm not going to be showing you all of my decks, but I'm definitely going to be showing you some of the ones that stood out to me this year, or I should say this past year now. And I just, I was really struggling to narrow it down to my favorite per category. So once I had narrowed it down to two, I just couldn't decide. So I decided to do a runner up winners sort of deal. Um, honestly, I've like both of them in all the categories, but I just couldn't decide. So you're going to see two decks per category. You're welcome. All right. So let's just dive right in and get started. Um, let's start with first just one of my favorite all around decks this year, the Tarot Mood deck. Uh, I think this was by Natalie Marecki. This deck is so fun and cool. Like I really like it. I like it's plastic, number one, so as they say, you could spill your bong water on it or whatever, but it's just really neat. It's slippery, so be careful, but it's actually lots of fun when you're with your friends or you're just doing it on your own even, and like the, sh the shuffling, you see, <laughs> the shuffling is like part of the fun of it. Normally, it would drive you crazy, but because this deck is fun, it's actually kind of neat, so it's cool. Let me show you the back of these cards. So that's what it's going to look like on the back there. And then the cards themselves, they look like traditional Rider Waite deck, you know, except they have really cool little funny sayings. So I'll show you one so you can get an idea. <laughs> it's just, it's just a funny deck. Okay. So that's probably my favorite all around deck this year, deck this year that I, you know, I've had a lot of fun with. A runner-up for this category, I would definitely say would have to be the This Might Hurt Tarot deck by um, Isabella Rotman. So this deck, what I liked about it was just that the imagery, it's its like new and refreshed. I did do a review on these. So some of these decks I have reviewed and some of them I haven't. I don't usually have time to do a review for all the decks, but if you point out one that you really like to see me do a full review on, just drop me a comment below and I'll be sure to do that. But back to the This Might Hurt Tarot deck, I like how the back of these cards, they kind of look like bicycle playing cards, like modified, isn't that nice? And, you know, you have this great edging on there. I think it's called Black Pearl. And the, the pictures themselves, it's like you take the Rider Waite cards and you just update and refresh them and make them into something more modern, something more representative of everyone. It, it's it's really good deck for representation. So I've enjoyed this one. It's it's like a one size fit all deck. It works for everyone. And I like it. So let's move along. Okay. I think the next category we'll do is let's look at one that's based off of like TV shows or movies. So this deck is the Solar's Tarot by Elithian. Unfortunately, this deck is, to my knowledge, out of print, but I love it. It's basically based on Star Wars, and like the cards themselves, they're just really buttery soft, and let me show you the back of that. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. Okay, so they have the gold edging, and the pip cards all have this really nice like gold line art on it. I just love it. It's so gorgeous. Look at that. But the, the majors, if I can find one for you, here's one. I mean, the artwork is just bam. It is beautiful. So there we have uh, Ray. Looking nice there. I mean, oh, Justice. Mm-hmm. That's right. Okay, so I just, these cards, they feel great. The imagery was chosen really well. Like, if I remember correctly, Han Solo was the hangman. It's perfect the way that she put them together. And I mean, stalk the Etsy page. It might come back. Who knows? I loved it. Great artist. And most of all, from following her on Instagram, I found out that she does a bit of writing and it got me into this whole fanfic hole that I'm still in. Um, I found out that I'm really into Jermione fanfic. So that's me. <laughs> I've had fun with it. Let's go on to my next movie one, I guess you could say, is the Tarot del Toro. I chose this one because I'm obsessed with Pan's Labyrinth. And 
even though it's based off of all of his, all of the movies, you know, there's a lot of Pan's Labyrinth stuff in here. And what's really cool is, you know, I just got this on Amazon, but the cards themselves are great. Oh, let me show you the backs. They look so nice. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And then, you know, here's the front. You'll see a lot of the imagery you're familiar with if you're watching, you know, his movies. So it's, it's cool. I love it. It's like right when I opened it up, I just thought about like at the end when Ophelia is bleeding into the hole and like I just had all the feelings again and oh my gosh, they have the fairies in the air. It was neat. I've enjoyed it mostly because of that and the really good quality cardstock and imagery on there and the, the art. It's really, really good for like a mass market deck. I just thought they really nailed it. Okay, so the next category we'll do is just, you know, a kind of deck that... I just liked, I just, I just enjoyed it. The artwork on this. This is the Playful Heart Tarot by Kitten Chops. Very, very friendly deck, I wanna say. For all ages, anyone could enjoy this, these cards. Let me show you the backs. And then, here we go, we have the cards here. What I love about it is that one, yes, this is exactly what I wanted to point out. Even though it's a friendly deck, it does not shy away from like the themes of the cards. So it's the swords and the nine of swords there. And you'll still get that imagery that, you know, it's on point with the meanings, but it's cute and fun at the same time. So like this one, this was, this was a, a win. It's been a hit in the family. And runner up would be the Tarot of the Divine by Yoshi Yoshitano. And I'm sorry, Yoshi Yoshitani. This deck is really nice. This is another deck you can find on Amazon or on the artist's webpage. I'll show you the back of these cards. And here is some of the imagery. You have a lot of folklore and fairy tales in these pictures. So it just made it so interesting. I was I was waiting patiently for this to come out for months. So <laughs> I was really excited to get it. I love it. This is a deck that I would really like to see in an indie version, just with a little bit more like little details and, you know, charge a little more for it, of course, but I think it would have been cool. When I reviewed this deck, I mentioned that I might edge it and I still might do that because I just, I love these cards. They're really, really cute. It's, it's, it's nice. It's on point. All right, so. Let's go to another category. Let's check out, I chose this deck because when you're new to tarot, it's so hard to kind of try to memorize the meanings. You're still trying to figure out what's the best way to remember what everything means. And so these decks are really good for those people. This is the Brady Tarot. It's another one that I really wanted. This is the second edition. So I missed out the first time and uh, you know okay but when it came back around on kickstarter i had to grab it look at that box that's so luxe the cards are nice big oversized cards let me show you the back there and it does have the gold edging and i guess what i really like about it is how they have these kind of keyword indicators on there there you go so you have the hermit let me show you one of the uh... here's a good example so you see on the bottom, it says power for that seven of feathers. Like, I like, I like that. I like those little kind of like puts you in the right direction. Like, here we go, nine of arrows, you have anguish. You know, I just thought for a deck that's not a straight up kind of Rider weight clone exactly, I like how they, how the artist put that in there. It was a really nice touch. And the deck itself is just really, really high quality. You can tell that it like, Every little detail is, is attended to, and I love that. You don't, you know, you just don't mind paying a little more for stuff like that. And that box, I mean, oh, it's so cute. Look at that owl in there. So next, I chose this uh, Destiny deck by Lisa Santine, and this is just like a super Instagrammable <laughs> tarot deck. It's also very soft, that velvety rose petal kind of feel. Check out the back of those cards there. And it does have the gold edging, the cards themselves, are just I, I really like it I like the little details and the keyword indicators let me show you an example we have here two of cups and then if you kind of look right here you'll see there's even a sign there and it's cancer so tying in the astrological astrological symbols with the meanings and then you know the imagery 
really help really really helpful for a beginning tarot artist i believe so this is this would be a great deck for beginners i bought it because i just thought it was really pretty and nice and it feels good to use it so that's always nice when you have a deck that it feels good in your hands and it, it does the details are nice on there i like that the gold is not too flaky or anything it's like a matte gold so you don't have to worry about it rubbing off on your hands that's nice okay so the next category I'm going to be doing, this will be our last traditional tarot category, is just, I just love it. I love your artwork. Come back. Keep it coming. Journey of the Sacred Bee. I was waiting for this deck. It is so pretty. Look at this. Look at this edging. This like turquoise edging. It's so cool. And I do love the bee arch type. Look at that. And all of the imagery on here is just gorgeous. Hello, look at that, it's pop, 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 pop in your face. I really, really like it. So, you know, this deck was a hit. It's it's really nice, good stock, good card stock. I really like this deck, this is nice. I would I would recommend it. It is definitely recommended. It's, it's approved, Rapocus approved. <laughs> All right, um, on the next, well, last tarot deck I should say I'm going to show you is the 78 Tarot Elemental deck. I love the 78 Tarot decks. It's an art collaboration. You have 78 artists and they're from all over the world and they're coming together to make this great deck. And so the artwork itself, it's going to be a, you know, a smorgasbord of what the different authors' styles are. And I love that because you get a different interpretation. You can really get, you know, see how other people are seeing or feeling when they when they think about the cards. So that's great. I love this deck. And then I, I love the golden edging and then my favorite, the back. Look at that. When I picked this up, I felt like Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. I got the golden ticket. <laughs> Look at that. It is just really cool. Love that. I like to do readings with these. Um, I don't let anyone touch these cards, but it just feels so nice, like sitting it down and you know, it's very like, woo, beautiful. Love this deck. So this is great. I'm going to be talking more about them in a little bit because I just like how they keep coming around with a new deck every year, a new collaboration, and it's like it's better and better and better. All right. So let's talk about Lenormand's. My very, very favorite Lenormand this year that came out was the Green Glyphs Lenormand, which is a uh, James Eads. It is just so nice. Like these, the cardstock, like velvet soft cardstock again, and the imagery on there, it's like, like I don't want to say it's basic, but it's like so simple and to the point, but like makes perfect sense. There's a lot of little features on there that you can like take out the cross, you know, take out some of the things that you may not feel a connection with and use instead um, his replacement cards. The albatross, I think, was the replacement card for that one. So things like that, that's cool. Um, it's and it can be gender neutral. You can swap out the man card thing, you know, if that's what you would prefer to do. This was just a really nice, and it has this extra, these glyphs are on there, and it helps you with the reading. So if you're new to Lenormand, this might be something you would be interested in. And I believe on the website, they even sell the, they have like the Grand Tableau. Um, it's like a, it's like a, I don't want to say canvas, but it's a fabric. So I do have it. I don't have it at hand, but that was really cool. If you go back and look at my review, you'll see it. It's in the end of the of that video. Next was the Rana George Lenormand. So I got this deck. I'm like, oh, let me, you know, I I don't buy too many decks on Amazon, but I loved how it looked. It has this like Middle Eastern kind of flair to it. I'll show you some of these cards. Like I just I really liked it and let me show you the back with this hamsa and the you know that that eye it's gonna can't get them can't get to them when that eyes up there so i don't know i just really i love the pictures on here oh look at her she's just it's very cool like i love that i did edge this again it kind of matches better with the um the golden back so these have been edged i've been enjoying this deck this is great and it comes with a book very comprehensive as well okay so let's talk lenormand's i'm sorry let's talk oracles 
Let's talk oracles. So I have two oracle decks here. I couldn't choose which one I thought was the best, best for me that stood out. Decks that taught you something. So the Runic Odyssey Oracle deck, I'm not really strong on runes. And this deck, you know, for a card slinger, it's exactly what I would like to have a deck. And I love how the the cardstock is kind of like weathered, I want to say. And then it has like the golden details on there. So this is Fihu, and you see it shows wealth and abundance, which is the meaning of the card. And let me show you the back there. So I've I've been having a good time with these, just learning. I guess you could say I've been learning with these, and it's been it's been some good stuff. So I do recommend these. Um, and the other deck that I really liked for like learning something new, I'm always into learning something new, was the Astro Soul Oracle deck. So this is another one I was waiting for patiently, and it's been great. Astrology, you know, it, it, it ties everything in and you use it as an oracle instead of just, you know, reading your signs, I guess to say. And look at that edging on there, that navy blue edging. The card, it literally looks like you could just cut it in half and it would still be blue. <laughs> so that's really neat. And then it has beautiful gold details on the cards themselves. Whoops. Let's see. I mean, I'm shuffling them up, so they're going to be upside down, some of them. There we go. Okay. Oh, I like that inside. It says... As above, so below. <laughs> okay, now we are on a roll. Got two more decks left to show you. The Morning Calm Oracle. So this is, I think it was SEO uh, Keller. When I saw this deck on Kickstarter, it just really appealed to me because it kind of like, I don't know, called out to my Korean background, I guess you could say. So when I seen it, I'm like, oh, you know, I, I don't know. I had like a little moment there. Oh, I want to get that one. Maybe I could show my mom. And so this is the back of the cards. Really nice. And then just look at the pictures on here. Like Morning Calm is the perfect name for this deck. It, it really just feels very serene when you're looking at the images. They're, they're, they're serenity now. It's like lovely. So I don't know. I really like it. And last but not least would be the Threads of Fate Lumen Edition. So this is not a new, new deck, but it's new to me and the Lumen Edition is pretty new. What's different about the Lumen Edition is that the cards themselves have a holographic reflection on it. So I just really loved how they did that. It came out so nicely. I'll show you the back there. Mm -hmm. And then here's how the fronts of the cards look. And it's it's gold. It's all gold on there. Isn't that nice? And holography and shimmery. So there's also a tarot deck you can get. But I really wanted the Oracle. I actually misplaced the book that came with the Oracle. And it has not stopped me from using it. I've still been able to do my Oracle reads with it just fine. And I don't know. I, I really like... This is a this was a really nice deck. It feels great in your hands and people love they always want to touch it when they say like, oh that's so cool. Can I see that? No, don't touch my oracle. <laughs> so these are I would definitely say these are the decks that I like the most. I was most excited about um this year. I mean I I do have substantially more, but these were the ones that kind of stood out to me. It was really hard when I got to like when I was narrowing it down top four, then the three, and then two, and then I just gave up and said, okay, I gotta do both of those. Now, outside of these decks that we've talked about, I do have some that I'm looking forward to for 2021. Now, in 2021, I know I saw that there was gonna be a supernatural tarot deck coming out. So I am a fan of supernatural. Love Dean, love watching it, and so. I'm really excited to see how they play that one out. Um, Disney Villains, they're coming out with a tarot deck, so I'd like to see that as well. 78 Tarot, as I mentioned, they'll be doing their yearly deck. I um, believe this year is ecological, and even though you missed the Kickstarter, they do normally sell a couple of those toward the um, 
when they, when they come into stock, whatever's extra, they'll sell the last ones off. So definitely check out their Etsy page. And I'll, of course, put the links down to that below. Um, Wandering Star Tarot, that's another one I thought looked really nice. And it seems perfect for a beginner. It has some like keywords and things like that on it. And the art is so cute. You have to check that out. And ASL Tarot, I mean, that one's like very unique. Have you seen anything like that? Like ASL? I haven't seen ASL Tarot. So I'm really excited to see that. Um, for Oracle decks, I, there's a Witches of Legend Oracle deck that I've been waiting for, and I think that was Annabelle Lewis. Hopefully I didn't mess up her name there, but that one, the art is like so cool looking with gold. It's like black, white, and gold pictures, and that one I'm really looking forward to. Um, the Animated Tarot is another one. It's another kind of like it moves when you, when you move it back and forth. So I don't know if the imagery is going to be like on point, on point, but I mean, how cool is that? An animated cart. Of course I had to get it. <laughs> And then um, there is the Cosmovisions deck. So Prismavisions was the tarot deck and Cosmovisions is the Oracle. I actually do have the Cosmovisions deck already, but it's not coming out quite yet or it might just have gone out just now in December. I'm not really sure, but these will be out and about in the atmosphere soon. And man, in that Kickstarter, <laughs> I got so much stuff in that Kickstarter. There's books coming and all kinds of cool things, wraps and whatnot and the Oh my goodness, the Geomancy coins. Like, I'm super excited to get all that stuff and tie it into this deck itself. And I don't know if you can, if you have not purchased this yet on each site, I definitely recommend it if you have the Prisma Visions because you can smack them together and make something new. So I thought that was really cool as well. That's it for today. Just wanted to share with you some of the things that I've loved from this year. If I missed anything or if there was a deck that you really loved that I missed, tell me about it. I would love to try to grab onto that one as well. Maybe I could do a review on it. Or if there was any here that I talked about that you would like to see a review on, let me bring these on in here. Let me know and I will be sure to do it. Um, happy 2021, everybody. Happy New Year. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions, comments, or you, know, you just want to chat. And that's about it for today. So... Until next time.